Henry, Henry, is it on? Right, deep breath. Oh, Sols, that's a stage direction, isn't it? I'm not supposed to say that bit out loud. I'll start again. Right. <sighs> Firstly, are you okay? Mm, I hope so. It feels strange without BJ as a Member of Parliament, and I imagine you've been feeling a, a lot like I have. Furious, sad, and nursing a stinking hangover. <laughs> now, you, me, and all our fellow Tories gave our love and support to someone who was not telling the truth. Although it's not the first time we've done that, and it certainly won't be the last. <laughs> but BJ wooed us, he whispered sweet plummises in our ear. Then he spaffed, cheated, and buggered off, blaming everyone but himself. <laughs> it was just like being married to him. <laughs> but due to a party gate stitch up, our BJ has been forced to stand down from the job he loved. Although it wasn't so much the job he loved, more the uh, perks that came with the job. <laughs> Access to all that lovely lolly from donors. Ooh! <laughs> and invites to all those exclusive bunga bunga parties with Putin's Russian elite chums up Sex Mountain. What? <laughs> what? BJ's going to be livid losing his bunga bunga benefits, but what next for our BJ? Well... A perfect storm is blowing. In America, it looks like Donald Trump is going to prison, so the Republicans are going to need a new candidate to run in the 2024 presidential election. Boris Johnson was born in America. And what with Boris and Nadine Doris both standing down as MPs, let's look forward to Boris and Nads running together. Let's look forward to Bo Nads 2024. Let's look forward to Vice President Nadine Doris and the next President of the United States of America, Boris Johnson. Let's make America British again. Hey! Ta ta, ta ta. How was that, Henry? Was that okay? Look, I'm parched. Let's go drink a <coughs> presidential amount of dry thy wine. <laughs>